see what was done. Our ether tanks smashed. Our supplies stolen. Our home defaced. I cannot find any witnesses. This is not surprising. The locals have been under enormous pressure. You're lucky it was not worse. This destruction helps no one but the Vex. Please, instead of teaching your people to fear us, tell them the truth. The truth is that your kind has preyed upon us for as long as we can remember. There's nothing I can say that will make them forget. House Light has never raised arms against humanity. Your houses and titles are layers of politics. You're still fallen. You promised us your protection. And you've had it. We allowed your brood to squat and chitter here in our city. But still, the Vex simulation persists. If you're displeased with how you have been treated for your failure, then I suggest you camp elsewhere. Your people destroyed what little we possessed. Now we have nothing, nowhere to go. Humanity faced a challenge like that once. We banded together and built a city with walls to keep our enemies outside. Where they belong. We hear her broadcasts, but more than that, we feel the energy of her words in the air. Sharp as blades pointed at an enemy. At us. You cannot ask people to live alongside their monsters. Listen to me now, Saint. Let me tell you something about monsters. A city grander even than yours, we prospered. But it did not last. Our great machine abandoned us. And when we pursued it, you sent something back. A creature fueled by hatred. It tore through our great houses like they were nothing. And then it came for the rest of us. Nowhere was safe from its insatiable rage. In its eyes, even the most innocent of Elexni were still fallen. It could die, but it would not stay dead. It would shake off the rot and rise again. And if it caught you in its crushing embrace, impaled you on its ragged crest, dragged you screaming into its foul shell, none live to speak of these horrors. It called itself the Saint. My people must now see the creature every day. It sees us. If we wish to survive, we must all learn to live alongside our monsters.
my father would say, is disappointing but not unexpected. Some Elixni believe that guardians prey on us without reason. But as a scribe, I know better. The accusations Lakshmi makes against us are mostly true. Elixni have raided the last city for centuries. They were driven not only by desperation, but by unspoken resentment at the great machine's abandonment. Every Kel since the Whirlwind has tried to unify Elixni in opposition to humanity. This warlike mentality has been a weakness. The House of Light tries to unify Elixni with humanity, not against them. And this is how we are received. I believe this is the war strategy humans call poisoning the town well. Luckily, we have enough ether reserves to last until repairs are made. But this is a worrying sign. When Ikora Ray offered us refuge, we assumed she had the authority to do so. But the longer we stay here, the more we wonder if anyone is in charge of this city. Your leaders do not seem to have the loyalty of the people. This instability puts Mizrax Kel in a difficult position. Many in our house were against coming here, but they trusted my father's judgment. Now his messages of tolerance and forgiveness appear naive. Perhaps this was the attacker's goal. I'm surprised humans would destroy a representation of a great machine. My research with the Awoken suggested that humans revered it as we do. However, my personal observations have not supported that conclusion. I understand the city used to have an official speaker. A sort of cleric who spoke to the Great Machine's will. However, human records state that role was abandoned after Dominus Gaul sacked the city. To leave the Great Machine without a representative among the people seems... heretical. Many Elixni believe that humanity takes the Great Machine's blessings for granted, just as we once did. Perhaps they're right. <laughs> 